float management what do you mean by float what are all the various types of floats are there our gopi krishna is that to explain welcome kana thank you sir uh, hello everyone i am going to today explain about floating management floating management means managing the float the float the term refer, term refers to uh, floats refers to the period that passes before the purchase or the receipt of receipt by the bank it is nothing but the transit transit time taken for the payment or the receipt in simple terms floating uh, floating floating means delaying delaying the conversion of cash equivalents into cash float you have to say float okay the term the term term float refers to uh, converting the cash equivalents into cash so i'll the 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 by the process of converting the receivables into cash we we tend to go through six floats by while the process these floats can be managed efficiently by adopting certain techniques which can reduce which which can reduce the floating time in a best possible way the first the first floating is billing float billing float uh, is the time taken for uh, send, sending the goods to the customers and the mailing the invoice how we can how we can restrict the time here is by uh, creating a bill policy that is no dispatch of the goods shall be made before making the invoice then second one is mailing invoice <clears throat> mailing invoice is the delivery delivery of uh, delivery of mail sent to the customers the time taken for the time taken to reach the customer the mailing invoice so here we can adopt instead of using the traditional post office method we can adopt the best modes of mailing like uh, email whatsapp telegram etc and next one is credit period once the once the invoice reached the customer uh, the, that customer will take some time to make the payment that is credit that is credit period which is granted by the granted by the seller by uh, by adopting a certain granting decisions by the uh, seller point of view that credit period may be for example 40 days so to make the payment within 14 days uh, to the seller will grant 40 days so in order to restrict the time the the seller may, the seller may adopt cash discount offers for example uh, instead of instead of uh, making the payment uh, till 40 days the seller may grant cash discounts of 2 percentage if he pay, makes the payment before 10 days so thereby we can control the float time then uh, another one is uh, another another three floats are mailing float and credit processing float and uh, check processing float check processing float and bank processing float these floats are contro- mainly controlled in the hands of customers and the bank so in order to take control over it the suppliers may adopt techniques like concentration banking and uh, lock box system so the concentration banking here uh, the, the system is the supplier when supply will tra- will identify the debtors debtors at debtors place and uh, create a local create and uh, make may create an account local account over there so while creating a local uh, local account there the clearing time will be faster to in, in to convert the check into cash and also there will be a middleman placed by the supplier that is collection team the collection team will directly go to the customers and uh, in physical form they will get the check and go and uh, deposit into their local bank account and the bank will and the bank will realize the check into cash and realize it uh, realize the check into the bank of banking amount and transfer it to the head office account so the, by by transferring the check to the chain the amount will be transferred to the head office account through nf nft or rtgs payment then uh, another one is another method we can adopt is uh, lock lock boxing lock box system locking box system it is similar to the con- concentration bank but there will be no middleman here there will be only two persons involved that is the customer and the bank he, the, but the, here the supplier will instruct the customer to send the check to the bank in the through the special post office boxes that is that is called lock box that lock box authority will be given to the banking system bank bankers the banker will collect the check from the special box that is lock box and deposit that amount into their local account of the supplier and later that amount will be transferred to the head office account through rtgs and net payment so thereby 
we are controlling the float of the controlling the overall float and in the best possible way hope i covered all the points thank you for the opportunity so totally how many floats are there what are the floats so there are six floats billing float uh, ma ma mailing float and then uh, billing float mailing float then uh, credit period and then uh, mailing float and then uh, check, check processing float and bank processing float good come.